Chang, I'm Tashana, and welcome to the second annual Mountain Place Minority Supplier Development Council, second annual Business Alliance Forum. Well, thank you for that warm welcome, Anne, and a warm round of applause. I am very excited to be here. Um, I've been honored to serve as a mistress of ceremonies. Last year, I worked on a panel, so I guess I've been promoted this year. Thank you, Belinda. <laughs> um, this is my favorite part, the power luncheon and awards, um, the power luncheon. So I've reviewed the program this afternoon, and what I, what you already have is the opportunity to experience uh, several training sessions. I know that I learned a little bit about goal setting from my new friend, Greg. Um, I also learned a little bit about branding from my new friend, um, oh my gosh, I forgot your name already. Jamie. Jamie. Thank you very much, Jamie. I learned a lot in your presentation, actually. So um, the other two sessions I didn't get to go to, but I'm sure you guys enjoyed those as well. So I'm impressed by the insight that the council had to put this program together and the decision from so many corporate members to come and so many minority business enterprises. When you look at the, the board outside with all the corporate sponsors, is quite impressive. I think that sponsorship makes this organization stronger and at the same time is a recognition of the importance that this plays with our sponsors. It also reflects the theme of this year's conference because so many of you, of you have chosen to go that distance and work on expanding your supplier diversity efforts within the council. Welcome everyone. Um, as uh, uh, in my role at Excel Energy uh, in sourcing and, and now I'm kind of moving into more of a strategic planning role for the supply chain, I'm fortunate to have our diversity organization as part of my team. So. Jim Garnis is, is our manager of supplier diversity. He's here from Minneapolis today. Um, and, and it's really great that, uh, that we're aligned at the strategic level uh, for the supply chain uh, and have you know, that, that diversity organization influence in how we do our strategic planning for our supply chain efforts. So we're really fortunate in the way we've, we've got that set. Uh, the whole purpose of, of these kinds of events is to uh, get you connected, uh, have you introduce and, and share your capabilities and, and your capacities with those buying organizations. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you uh, buying organizations, your corporate members, for your support. We know you're trying. We know that, that there are tremendous obstacles in place uh, on, on the corporate side. Uh, we know that you do this because it's important to you. Uh, we've got I also found out uh, just recently that uh, today, in, just in this particular market, uh, the city, county, Denver, uh, DIA, uh, uh, Dan, I guess, well, DIA, Denver International Airport, is part of that organization. There's going to be $5 billion in spend over the next, what is it, was it three years, five years? Yeah. Five years. Five. Yeah. Uh, and, and by the way, that's the whole city. But, you know, by the way, that lady that is talking right now is one of the best advocates for this organization that you'll ever meet. She, uh, she's here. Thank you. 